Thank you, Jane. It's 36 minutes after 7 o'clock. The I-Team has now learned that at least 9,300 tons of coal ash is now sitting on the ocean floor near Hannah Park in Atlantic Beach. That's according to an internal email obtained by the News for Jack's I-Team from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. It has leaked out of this barge that's been stuck for more than two months about a mile south of the mouth of the St. Johns River. You can see it, in fact, from the beach if you walk along the northern part of Atlantic Beach. Now, is it safe to swim then in the water. And what about the impact this coal ash could have on marine life off our coast? Jacksonville University's marine biologist Dr. Quinton White is joining us via Zoom this morning. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Dr. White, would you remind our viewers what is in this coal ash? Well, coal ash is a result of burning coal. Um, and what is left is all the, the stuff that uh, doesn't go up in the, the chimney, so to speak. And so it's Typically, um, quite literally, um, and I use the phrase A to Z, it goes from aluminum to zinc. It, it has everything in it, but it also includes a lot of the nasty stuff that we worry about, arsenic, zinc, um, lead, mercury, uh, et cetera. So it, it, it's not a healthy kind of situation to have dumped offshore. Of course, we've now learned that 9,300 tons of this has, has basically seeped or leaked into the ocean. I know you were concerned about that happening, but now that we've received this internal email to, to confirm that that is in fact what has happened, your concerns first about the impact on the sea life around this barge? I am, and I've been concerned from... I was concerned that it might literally break up, and that's what's happened, that... Um, the hatches have come off and the storm that came through in the middle of the month of last month washed out this material. Um, we actually flew over it as part of another research project and noted a plume coming off the barge going out about 100 yards flowing out to the northeast. So we're concerned because this material gets dumped on the bottom. Uh, it basically smothers anything that's sitting on the bottom right there. But the bigger concern is that this material then gets picked up and becomes part of the food chain, if you would, and becomes entrained in the water and then phytoplankton absorb it. Um, that's in turn eaten by the zooplankton and then it sort of works its way up the food chain. And that said then would, for example, anyone who fishes near there, should they not do that if they're fishing, if they're catching fish that they plan to eat? So this is where it gets really complex because we don't know exactly what's happening to this material. We don't know what the concentrations are. We don't know where it's going. And so there's a lot of questions to ask right now that we just don't know the answers to. So for background, for our viewers who haven't been following this perhaps as closely as we have, no one has wanted this coal ash in their backyard, basically. It was created by a power plant and is in Puerto Rico. It's not wanted in Puerto Rico or in the Dominican Republic where it's, it used to be dumped and there was such an, an outcry after cases of cancer increased along a beach in the Dominican that, that it's, it's now being shipped essentially to Charlton County, which is a landfill in Folkestone. It certainly begs the question, Dr. White, is it safe for us for those who live along Atlantic Beach or vacation there, is it safe for us to swim in the, in the ocean? I don't think there's any evidence that there's an immediate health effect. And I, I want to be careful that I'm not a public health official, and so I don't want to go there. But I do think we need to have more information. We just simply don't know what exactly is going on with this material. And so I would hope that our state agent would be doing some water quality sampling to see what's actually out there and what's going on. So the EPA does not consider this to be hazardous waste. Uh, you know, you've read the documentation. Why not? This is, it gets, this is very complex because the, the way that they treat this material, um, it's, a, it's classified as a special waste by EPA. Uh, they don't call it hazardous waste, even though a lot of us think it is hazardous waste. And that's a political decision that got made uh, at a much higher level than I am. Well, we will continue to follow this. It's our understanding that DEP, which has been testing, you know, the area uh, around this barge is going to have a report that should be available this week. We will certainly continue to follow this. I know you're watching it closely as well. Dr. White, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you very much.